Today we are making the most moist and fluffiest chocolate sheet cake. This cake is loaded with plenty of chocolate. It's very rich, but it's also very light and fluffy. On the top is fudgy chocolate buttercream. So delicious, your friends will want this recipe. Welcome back to my channel, Never Tasted Better, where I love to share with you guys all of my delicious food creations. I am very much looking forward to this delicious chocolate sheet cake, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll need two cups all-purpose flour, three-quarter cup cocoa powder, half a cup white sugar, one and a quarter cup light brown sugar, three large eggs, half a cup sour cream, a third cup oil, one tablespoon vanilla, three-quarter cup buttermilk, three-quarter teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, and our bittersweet chocolate. We're going to need three ounces. They come in a four-ounce package. That other ounce, save it for the frosting. One stick unsalted butter and one cup of hot, strong coffee. That's our ingredients for our cake. Let's get started. Our first step, we need to start with our chocolate. We're going to take three ounces, save that other ounce, like I said, for our chocolate buttercream, and chop this into very fine small pieces. You need a sharper knife than I had. It took forever. Once your chocolate is chopped, add it to a small microwave safe bowl. Also add in your canola oil and your stick of butter, which we're going to cube up into large chunks. Add it all together in the bowl and we're going to microwave this for 30 seconds. Once it's had its time in the microwave, whisk it together until smooth. If it's not melted, stick it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Set this aside. Jack was neglecting his job. Normally he sits in the chair and keeps me company while I bake. And today he didn't want to, so I recruited my son Junior to keep me company. In a separate large bowl, we're going to sift our flour, our cocoa powder, salt, baking soda all together until completely sifted. This way we won't have any excess lumps. Also add in your light brown sugar and your white sugar. I should have used a larger bowl. This one was way too small. Whisk it together until completely combined and set aside. In a separate large bowl, add in your room temperature eggs, your room temperature buttermilk. Also add in your pure vanilla extract, your sour cream, and we're going to whisk this together until completely homogenous and well blended. Grab your chocolate mixture, give it a few stirs with a spoon, add it gradually into your wet mixture, and whisk it one last time until completely blended. Your mixture will look slightly curdled. Now we're ready to add in our dry ingredients, which we're going to fold in with a spatula. Get rid of your whisk, we do not want to overmix our batter. Just before your cake batter is combined, add in your strong hot coffee. We're gonna let it sit for 45 seconds and then fold it in again with your spatula. Your batter is going to be very lumpy, that's normal. Set your cake batter aside, grab a 13 by nine inch pan, line it with parchment paper. I forgot to show myself spraying it down with cooking spray, so make sure you do that. Also, you are ready to pour in all of your luscious chocolate cake batter. Don't waste any of it. Make sure you scrape the bowl using a spatula. We're going to bake this guy for 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Junior was a very good helper, so he was rewarded with a spatula covered in chocolate cake batter. After 38 minutes, our cake was done baking. We're gonna let it cool off completely while we work on our frosting. We will need one cup unsalted butter, two and three quarter cup powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon pure vanilla, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, that other ounce of bittersweet chocolate, and a drizzle of heavy cream. That's our frosting ingredients, let's whip it up. I notice a pattern here. We're going to start by chopping up our chocolate again, this time with a much sharper knife. Add it to a microwave safe bowl, add in a drizzle of heavy cream, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and whisk it up until completely smooth. You should just have to do it one time at 30 seconds in the microwave. Set your ganache aside and in a very large bowl, add your room temperature butter. Your butter should be soft enough to where you can squish right through it with your fingers. 
Mix this on a medium high speed until it's very light and fluffy. Once it's reached that light and fluffy stage, add in your vanilla extract, your salt, your powdered sugar, and your cocoa powder. Mix this together on a low speed. It might take a few minutes to come together and get creamy, but once it does, it's going to be very thick and fudgy. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the ganache. Add in all of your glossy chocolate ganache. Mix it one last time until it's completely blended. Give it a taste test. The result is going to be a beautiful fudgy chocolate buttercream with little bits of salt. The cake was very soft, so I used a cookie scoop and scooped out small scoops of frosting. And when I went to spread it, it helped the cake not to tear. So use this trick if you can. It really comes in handy and it ensures that the frosting is even on all sides of the cake. I love frosting a sheet cake. The great thing about a sheet cake is you can decorate it any way you would like. You can do it simple and it would look great. You can do swirls in it like I did and it's very satisfying. You can leave your cake plain like this, or you can be a kid like I am, and you can decorate it with sprinkles. I love sprinkles. I think they're so much fun. I'll never outgrow them. The beauty of this cake, you can lift it right out in the parchment paper and it didn't stick at all. It's a miracle. This cake looks insane. It's very beautiful and very simple and easy to make. You can store this cake in the fridge, but it will dry out. I did store mine at room temperature and just covered it. My kids love this cake. They all love chocolate, so of course they would love this cake. This cake looks incredible and it smells so chocolatey. Let's go ahead and see how it is. Mmm. <laughs> the sprinkles on top are a nice addition. It gives it a little bit of texture. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Please give me a like and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.